Hey guys, Zen called Dev here bringing you part 5 on how to submit an app to the App Store. This part is on submission and how to send off your compressed app file to Apple for review. So once you've watched part 1 to 4 which I strongly suggest or you won't understand this video, you'll have your compressed app file and you'll be ready to send it off to Apple. So what you want to do is go into your native web browser and I'm going to use Google Chrome. And you want to type in itunesconnect.apple.com and then sign in with your developer ID that you used to sign up with the development program with and once you're on this page you'll see a list of things to do and what you want to click is manage your applications and then go to add new app and now you'll be on this page and when you're on this page you want to put in your app name so it's, my one's called messages but your one obviously won't and change it accordingly and the SKU number is just any writing you want I'm gonna put messages underscore one two three so I suggest you put say your name of your app was called racing I put racing underscore one two three and and the bundle ID is your app ID you used to build your application and mine is com .zencore development messages and then click continue Now when you're on this page, you want to choose your availability date, so if you want to schedule your app release then put any date you want to choose, say 7th of June you can make your app come out, but I'm going to just put mine to today's date which is the 5th, not 5th, it's just May, and I'm going to put the, what's the date today, 31st of May. And then price tier, you can either use a tier 1 to 86, 86 is the most expensive but I'm going to make mine free and then you can either discount for educational institutions or make it a custom B2B app but I'm going to uncheck both of them then click continue once it's done that and the version number should be 1.0 unless you changed it in your info.plist copyright is your company's name mine's Encore Development and your primary category is your own but mine is a utilities, utilities application and the secondary category will be reference because it's referencing you and then the rating change all these descriptions accordingly so if your game is violent then I put e either infrequent or frequent but mine has none of these characteristics inside it because it's just a messaging application when you get down to the bottom to the metadata um, description I'm just going to put messages is a great app by Senkor Development and then the next is the keywords and you want to put keywords that fit your description of your application so mine is multimedia texts and social Support email address is the email address you want people to contact you on when you when they have a problem with your application. Mine is this support URL is your company's website. 
and the marketing URL you you can leave it blank blank because it's optional. So I'm gonna leave them both blank. Uploads, you need a large app icon and either if your app is universal or an iPhone or an iPad application, but mine's just an iPhone application. And you want to click choose. I'm going to drag my screenshot from my desktop, which is 640 by 960, because that's the dimensions of a retina display on my phone. Click open, and it should load. And then for your large app icon, it should be 512 by 512. I'll select it right here. It also has to be a PNG as well for it to be accepted. Both images have to be. So when you've done that, you can click save. And it sh you should appear on this page. Should should appear on this page, and mine says messages up here. So it should say your app name up there, your SKU, your bundle ID, and your Apple ID. Already generated for you. And then once you've done this, you can click back on your application. And then top right corner, you want to click ready to upload binary. And then click no. Save and if you don't have the latest version of application loader, then click here and it will download. But I do, so I'm going to click continue. And now you can close your web browser. So when you've done when you've done that, you want to go to application loader, which is in your Macintosh hard drive. Then developer, then applications, then utilities, then application loader. And then you want to click deliver your app. And then you want to click messages, whatever your app's name is. And then next, and I'm going to choose my zip file. Just go back and drag it on. And then click send and wait for it to upload. It should authenticate with the iTunes store. You should receive no errors while it uploads. And that was uploading. It's finalizing delivery and now it's uploaded. So now it's off for review to Apple. And that concludes part five on how to submit an app and concludes the series. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. This has been Zen Call Dev and I'm out. Peace.